Bring on the caffeine because in this episode we are customizing our very own Christmas coffee mug with the help of a cricket. Let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants and y'all today we are diving into another Craftmas Mega Mystery Box project y'all. We are customizing this coffee mug right here. Now, truth be told, this is a sublimation coffee mug. However, I know that not everybody who gets the Craftmas Mega Mystery Box projects, um, they won't all have a sublimation printer. So we are actually gonna do vinyl on this today. However, I also include a PNG version of all of the files that were exclusive with the box. I have a PNG version for y'all, so y'all can download that and sublimate it if you want to. Totally up to you, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles y'all's pickle. All right, so let's hop over here to Cricut Design Space. Let me show you the design I'm using for this project. This is one of many designs, one of many SVG files that were exclusive with that mystery box. So y'all, the mystery boxes, my mystery boxes, in my opinion, I'm biased, but they're the best. Like they're the best. Again, I'm biased, but I'm just saying. <laughs> So all of the of all of the designs are exclusive with that box. So I'm gonna be using this right here as well as some gorgeous, gorgeous vinyl. Like some gorgeous vinyl. So we are using this Style Tech transparent glitter. Y'all, for those who got the box, y'all know cameras do not do this justice. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. It's somewhat transparent, like semi-transparent, but whenever you put it like on a surface like this that's white, it's gonna really, really pop. I mean, it's gonna pop on any surface, but especially white, in my opinion. Uh, We're also gonna be using the Red StarCraft HD. Y'all know the StarCraft HD is my all-time favorite vinyl. And here is another beautiful, beautiful, like this is the StyleTech Luster. How freaking stunning is this? It's so good. So we're gonna use those right here to create this design onto this mug. Let's get into it. So with this particular file, this was made specifically for this mug. It should be coming into Cricut Design Space whenever you upload it at, let's see, 3.68 inches by 2.56 inches. If yours is not coming in at that size, and if Cricut's just being a little bit wonky, a little bit weird, just go up here right here to the top and then change the measurements like so. You can also grab any of the other SVG files and then bring it in here, size it down to fit onto the mug as well. What I typically like to do is just grab a little tape measure, like this one, pull it out and then just get down the general measurements. For this, I really didn't wanna to go too far over the three and a half inches for the width. And for the height, I really didn't want to go too far over the two and a half inch mark. So that's what I'm, I'm working with here. So let's go ahead and come up here since there's really nothing for us to do. It's all prepped and ready and good to go because y'all, I make it easy for you. So we come up here and click on make it. This is just the map preview screen. We don't need to do anything here except for come down here and click on continue. So for our base material cut settings, for the StyleTech transparent glitter, me personally, I like to use the light cardstock cut setting. Sounds weird, we're not working with cardstock for this, but me personally, I like to use this setting. However, always do test cuts. Make sure that that's gonna work out for you with your machine, your blade, your materials. Always do test cuts. And for these other two, the StarCraft HD and the StyleTech Luster, I just use like the regular vinyl or the premium vinyl permanent glossy cut settings, one of those. Again, always do test cuts, like always. It's just it's just a smart thing to do. You don't wanna waste your materials, but I have actually already cut and weeded all this stuff out, as you can see uh, right here. So here are my different layers, and I'm actually gonna be using the parchment paper layering hack. I like to use like the Reynolds Wrap brand. Um, most brands that I've tried actually work. There is a cheap dollar store brand that does not work. Do a little small test to make sure your vinyl is not going to stick to this before you commit to it, okay? So what I want to do is grab me some transfer tape real quick. I'm using the StyleTech Clear Medium Tech Transfer Tape. You can get this as well as all of these materials from 143 Vinyl. You can also save some money if you want by using the code CRAFTY to save 5% on the entire order. 
It also helps support this channel at the exact same time as it saves you some money. What's not to love? So I'm gonna pull some of this off. By the way, all this will be listed and linked down in the description. And then, you know, this time around, what I wanna do is actually get all of the layers onto the transfer tape and then transfer it onto the mug in one seamless go. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually start out with the Christmas movie layer, this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is, well, you could do it one of two ways. You apply the transfer tape down to the vinyl or lay the transfer tape sticky side facing up towards you and then apply the vinyl face first down onto that transfer tape. Let me go ahead and do that. Grab a squeegee, burnish that down. And then this is what I like to do with the Style Tech Clear Medium Tech Transfer Tape. I don't like to lift up the transfer tape and hope that the vinyl comes up with it. Not at all. What I like to do is make sure that this is still flipped over and then peel the backing off of that vinyl. Now, how easy was that? Like, seriously, how easy was that? So good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take our, our transfer tape that now has our first layer on it. I'm gonna put basically most of that parchment paper over top of that transfer tape and vinyl. And then I'm gonna go in here and try to line all this up. All right, y'all, <laughs> I already messed it up. So this is my mistake. Learn from my mistakes. Don't repeat my mistakes. So whenever I put the transfer tape down, onto that layer, I did not leave enough room. I didn't leave enough transfer tape up here above this layer. So really, in all reality, this is how it should go, right? Like this is my Christmas movie mug. I didn't leave enough transfer tape up here to pick up this top layer. Total oversight on my part, we're all human, we all make mistakes. It just is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is basically just keep on going. I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to the little white part of the candy cane. We'll pick that up. And then what I'll do is actually go ahead and apply this over to the coffee mug and then go back in and then apply this down. It's not gonna be one clean sweep like I was wanting. It's still gonna get the job done. It's still gonna work out perfectly. I'm still here for it. All right, so again, with the parchment paper, I'm gonna get this all lined up. And with the parchment paper, it's just transparent enough to where you can see through what's going on underneath. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is all lined up. Make sure all of the little silver is lined up with that red. All right, we're gonna burnish down the little top part of that transfer tape. Lift up the rest of it, lay down the rest of it, flip it over, squeeze you down the backing onto the transfer tape and then peel this off carefully. All right, so, oops. All right, so one little piece of our candy cane wanted to move. That's all right, we can go in there and fix that. Once it's on, uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just, I'll just fix it now. Why not? I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go in here and do it real quickly. All right, so just a little bit of vinyl surgery Super easy. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our mug. I'm also gonna grab my little squeegee. Now y'all, these squeegees, they're just a couple bucks at 143 vinyl. I mean, they're good, but what I love about them is these little ridges. So I can actually lay this down and then use this to steady my coffee mug like so. What you also wanna do whenever applying permanent vinyl down to a smooth, hard surface is you want to clean that surface. You wanna actually get any film that's from the factory, any dirt, any oil, grease, anything off of that, okay? So what I like to do is grab a lint-free shop towel. Really, any towel should do the trick. You just don't wanna leave lint behind. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol, put that down on here, and then just wipe this down real good. The thing is, the rubbing alcohol is gonna clean this off, give it a nice, clean, smooth surface and also evaporate and dry pretty quickly as well. All right, so I am again gonna be using the parchment paper. We have to keep in mind, again, the screen layer, we cannot forget about the screen layer again. Just gotta, gotta keep in mind that this is gonna be part of it all. Let's get a good idea where this should all go. 
All right, so right there should do the trick. I'm gonna just kind of slide out this layer. And now we know exactly where to place this layer at on the mug. All right, once we got it where we want it, so we can go ahead and pick it up, squeegee that down. Just a little part of the transfer tape that is peeking out above that parchment paper. Lift up on that transfer tape. Remove the parchment paper from underneath. And then squeegee it all down. All right, so now let's go back in here. Grab the green layer that was lost but not forgotten. We'll lay this down on top. Squeegee it, flip it over and peel the backing paper off. Again with the parchment paper, let's go in here. And once you have it down where you want it, just go ahead and lay down that transfer tape, whichever part of that transfer tape that's peeking out from basically over top of that parchment paper. It is kind of easier to work from side to side whenever you're working on like a curved surface like this. Then you just want to lift this up, remove that parchment paper, and then squeegee this down. Then carefully peel it off. And you're all set. Hey, thank you so much for watching this special Craftmas episode. Don't forget to stamp that subscribe button and also ring that little bell for all the notifications so that y'all don't miss out on a single cricket or crafty minute. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty.